Hello, Victoria. Hi, yes, I'm, I'm sorry to wake you. It's me. Oh, no, I'm fine. Uh, no, well, I do have some news. Yeah, it's going to be one of those good and bad deals. Yeah. <laughs> Frank and I are getting a divorce. No, Victoria, that's supposed to be the bad news. <laughs> the good news is I'm coming to L.A. to live. Yes, yes. Well, I figure it's a perfect place for me. It's got a maximum of opportunity and a minimum of Frank. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, today. Yes, today. Uh, it's about the noon plane, uh, Boston, L.A., American Airlines. Yeah. Okay. Uh, terrific. Yeah, uh, Vic, Vic, I, listen, I really got to go. I'm going to miss my plane. Yeah, okay, I love you too. Yeah. Yes. This is your sister, Susan. No, go back to sleep. It is not a dream. I'll see you in Los Angeles. Yes. Yes, goodbye. <laughs> you want. I mean, right now, my analyst says you're very vulnerable, so the important thing is not to rush into anything until I can find you someone with a lot of money. Uh, Victoria, I think I need a little time. Of course you do. I told Abel not to pick you up until nine. Abdul? Yes. He's this fabulously wealthy Iranian businessman. They're just like Arabs, only they dress better. <laughs> Vic, you know, you're way ahead of me. First, I want to get a job, and then we can work on the oil empire. <laughs> you know, Susan, now that you're separated, I can tell you the truth. I never liked Frank. You told me that at the wedding. <laughs> I did? I told Frank, too. <sighs> Was I out of line? It doesn't matter anymore. You mean that whole sordid, ill-fated, misbegotten charade you called a marriage is finally over? <laughs> Couldn't we just... Leave it at sorted. <laughs> Can I help you? Yes, I'm here about the ad. Executive position, top salary, opportunity for advancement, assistant manager of health club. Excuse me. Pop, you're advertising for an assistant manager? What's wrong with me? Are you kidding? I don't have that kind of time. Come in. Hi. Uh, my name is Susan Hughes. Uh, Milt Angelo. This is Angelo. Uh, hi, just call me Angelo D'Angelo. I'm his son. Uh, yes, well, uh, Mr. Angelo, I'm here about the job. I'm a college graduate. I have a BA in Slavic languages. Oh. And, um, well, it's all there. I don't care what's there. I care what's there. Yes, uh, Mr. D'Angelo, I really want this job. I think I'd be terrific at it. I'm excellent at sports. I got all A's in phys ed. I was varsity field hockey in high school. And uh, my most important qualification is I need the money. Good. Take off your clothes. I don't need that much money. But you don't understand. If you want to be an executive in the sweat game, you got to look the part.
Now, that's an executive. Look, you went to college. Yeah. What does this look like to you? Trouble. <laughs> Listen to her. Oh, you're so cute. Not even your fingers are strong. So here, here's a problem. You see this little baby here? Yeah. This is the latest thing in bodybuilding equipment. We're just not too sure what part of the body it builds. My genius son here, he lost the instructions. I didn't lose them, Pop. But they didn't send them. <laughs> they didn't send them. So. There's a whole company in Japan. The board of directors had a meeting. Well, short guys. They took a vote. And they all decided, let's annoy Milt D'Angelo and not send him the instructions. <laughs> well, at least now we know how it happened. Get in the crate and keep looking! D'Angelo, <laughs> let's approach this scientifically. Uh. We have one long slab here. Uh -huh. We have two rollers right here. Uh. I think this is a marital aid. Yeah. <laughs> Will you get in it? One specific part. No, no, come on, put your feet here. Yeah. Come on, put your hands here. Right. And put your behind here. How does this look? Weird. Yeah. Let me turn it on. <laughs> I think I found something. Oh. What? This is supposed to go to a tuna factory in Japan. This is a canning machine. I need a drink. What would you like? Oh, hit me with a lemonade. Oh, gosh, hi. I'm sorry, I'm Susan. Hi, I'm Cora. This is your first day here, right? Yes. I remember my first day here. I never told nobody about it. <laughs> I guess it'd have to stay that way. Are you married? Are you singled? Are you with somebody? Are you going to answer me? <laughs> Are you separated? I knew it. What did he do? Beat you up? Come on, you can tell me. He told me this much. Me and my big mouth. <laughs> well, actually, my husband was kind of married to his work. Oh, I can understand that. I've been in a relationship like that. Only with me. The guy was married to his wife. Are you sure you didn't get beat up? Well, you see, my husband was very interested in his career, and I was interested in finding a career, but he was more interested in me being interested in his career. I think I'd rather get beat up. <laughs> so would I. Can I ask you another question? Yeah. Where do you live? With my sister at the moment, but I'm looking for a place. Really? There's a vacancy in my building? Oh, yeah? That's terrific. First, see my building. 